Well, over the last few weeks, we have definitely learned once again how important our emotional well-being truly is. This morning, we want to introduce you to the founder and CEO of Revitalist. She started her first clinic back in 2018, now has three locations, one of them right here in Johnson City. Her ambition goes beyond conventional care. It embraces a personal, physical, mental, and emotional well-being. We're honored to have Katie Walker, Revitalist founder and CEO. Great to have you on the show. Very happy happy to be here. Well, I was reading, of course, a lot about you on your website, and I love how you kind of changed your focus. Everything kind of changed, a different passion for mm -hmm. you. Yeah, it did. It did. I worked in the hospital for about 20 years as a nurse, anesthesia specifically. I um, ended up getting my psychiatry degree, and what we're seeing now, and this is the beautiful thing, is that we're seeing the brain controls a lot more than what we give it credit for. So this whole mental health crisis, pain crisis, addiction, we're actually seeing that all these are connected under the same element, which is the brain. So I'm working not only at the clinics, but with a lot of scientists in trying to help prove this new concept. So it really brings together different components and really mm -hmm. works on holistic. Yes, yes, uh, yeah. emotional intelligence. That's one thing I love to talk about. Everyone talks about, you know, like, what's your IQ? Well, what's your EQ? Like who teaches us in life how to be peaceful and calm? And a lot of times, no one's ever been taught how to be peaceful and calm. We're just taught, you know, we're, we're expected that it's normal, right, to be peaceful and calm, and it's not. So a lot of times we have to be taught, like, how to truly sit in the present moment. And a lot of times when we struggle with mental health, with pain, with addiction, all these different facets, we're actually living in the past, we're kind of living in the future. And we don't understand really what our brain's doing. And when we don't understand it, what happens a lot of times is we will go to the physician or provider mm -hmm. and they'll start giving us medicine to help us to become more normal. But normal, we don't know what normal is yet. So really we're working on like the education spectrum, um, the information, like looking at data. And that's the beautiful thing is a lot of the therapies that we offer at the clinics really looks at scientific data from a neuroscience standpoint and seeing like how does psychology fold into that? How does mental health? How does pain? How do all these different pieces, how do they fold in together? Because we are actually much more empowered in our brain than what we know. So the more we can learn about that, the, the more that we can increase our community's awareness, the more that we can decrease the harm that's being done in our school systems, in mm -hmm. our communities, um, to the geriatric population. Like there's so much here that we really need to focus on because suicide, unfortunately, keeps going up. Mm -hmm. And it keeps going up because we still don't understand what we're doing. And that's what I'm working with is to try to figure out the solution that we need. Yeah, I feel like people are finally starting to address it a little bit, but the numbers, the crisis continues to remain the same. And I know you have several different therapies because of course everybody's different, but you have some that are really working well for people. Yes, yeah, so one of them is a, it's kind of a controversial term, but it's called ketamine. And ketamine's been around since like the 1970s. Yale University fortunately made an accidental discovery in the late 1990s that ketamine when given properly underneath professional guidance is actually causing the brain to regenerate. So that in terms is going with this whole group of medicines, if you kept up with them a little bit, mm -hmm. called psychedelic medicines. And what we're seeing is like Johns Hopkins, Cleveland Clinic, Cambridge, all these really amazing institutions are actually getting into this scientific field now because they're seeing changes that we didn't even know could exist are happening and that's what we're following and that is a beautiful thing mm -hmm, absolutely we're gonna give everybody some information you're gonna come back and join us next month and we're gonna look forward to that and talking a little bit more about these different therapies but if you would like to learn more as I said there are three clinics one of those right here in Johnson City she's also in Knoxville and Tampa but you can find her right there on Wesley Street for more information too on the different therapy that they offer you can visit the website at revitalistclinic.com